Hi everyone. Today we are going to do 3.1 solving linear equations graphically. So you will see two the systems of two linear equations and we will solve these equations graphically. Before we start, can you do the do now? You can rewrite the equation in slope intercept form and can you draw the graph? I'll give you about one minute. Okay, now let's start together. So to change this into the standard form, what do you do? Yes, you need to move X to other side, right? You need to have Y alone in the left side. So you are going to do this. So next X go to the other side, you change the sign, it becomes negative X plus six. It was very simple. So y intercept is six. You start from six here and slope is a negative one. Negative one, one means when you go, x goes one unit, y goes down by one unit. So go downward to the right side. This is a negative slope, right? So your slope will be like this. Or you can use the calculator, take a look and you can do it. So if you draw the graph, like this. Now everybody understand? Now let's go to our lesson. So what does it mean to solve the systems of linear equation? Can you write down in your note or you can go to the Google Classroom and then discussion question and check it. So what does it mean? So y plus x equal to six and y is equal to three over two x plus one. So to solve these systems of linear equation, it means we have solved finding the point of intersection, a point of intersection between these two lines. Right, that will be the solution. So let's try with the examples. We have already y equal to negative x plus six. If you have an equation like this, you know, you should change into standard form. Now there's another equation. So y equal to three over two x plus one. So you know how to draw the graph, right? So you already know this is y equal to negative x plus six. And when you draw the second graph, how do you start? You start from y intercept, you put the y intercept here, one, and then use the slope. So you should understand when it is a fraction. Fraction means the numerator three is for y, vertically move three unit, but the de denominator is for x. So how does it move? It means when x goes to two unit to the right, y value goes up by three. If it is negative, go down. If it is positive, go up, right? So let's see. You start from one here. Next, when x goes two unit, y goes three unit. And two unit, three unit, right? So now where, do you see any intersection between these two lines? Where is it? Yes, here. So what is the coordinate of this point? This point is the intersection, which is the solution. So what is here? Yeah, X is two, Y is four. So that's the solution. So everybody understand how to solve this problem. So today's lesson is very simple, right? All right. So now you can go, uh, this one is a Google Classroom discussion. So you can go to the, you know, the Google Classroom, find out the question and can you answer this? What are the steps of solving linear equations graphically? Follow the direction, please. After you respond to this question, you can see your classmates uh, response and then put the comment on it. Okay. Now I want to go over one more example. Let's go over one more example with a y equal to half x minus two and the y plus three x equal to five. So 
you can draw the first graph. So what, what is y intercept? Minus two, right? You start from minus two here and the half x, slope is half. So denominator is two for x, x goes to two unit, y goes what? One unit up, right? You go this way. So two unit, one. So if you draw it, what happened? Like this, right? So two unit, one. Two unit, one. If you look at the slope, rise over run, right? But two unit, one. X for the denominator, Y for the numerator. Two, one. So one over two. That's the slope so you can use. So you can draw the graph like this. But second one, I already showed you how, now you move the three X to here, it becomes Y equal to negative three X plus five, right? So how do you draw the graph? So start from five, the y intercept here, and then negative three, which means when x goes up by one, always if the slope is integer, x goes up by one, one unit. When x goes up by one, how many unit? Three unit down because it's negative three. So three unit, one, two, three here, this is the next. One more time you go, one, one, two, three, negative. Oh, you have a intersection here. Let's draw the graph, right? If you, one, one, two, three. Does it make sense? So your solution is here. How do you write down? When X is two, Y is equal to negative one, right? That's the solution. So if you keep going down, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six questions, right? Let's finish the six questions. And then in the last slide, you can find out exit ticket. So can you answer exit ticket also? So you know how to turn in the works in the Google Classroom, right? So you need to do now, let's note and Assigned questions, you are you have a six assigned questions and this exit ticket. All right. Thank you.